Mammoth of Lotto Odds and Match 3 Colors. It is April 20th, 2024. I've got a great video for you guys today, and it's about the keys feature here and how um, I can show you how easy it is to choose a key, okay, that will come out and how you can play with less than 10 numbers. Oh, yes, less than 10 numbers, okay, and easy to choose keys that may come out. I am going to create a feature and I'm working on right now called uh, Key Predict and it will actually show you keys here under the winner so you won't have to do what I'm doing you just go through uh, the pair of sums and you'll see the keys here and how to play them but I'm going to show you how to do it now and how to pick these keys so easy okay. Uh, first of all we, um, me and other members were playing with keys and they and won today quite a bit. Um, I won with one number I played with keys, one num yes, one number. Um, it came out, um, the key predict feature produced one number, 359. I played that for $1.150. I also played, uh, used the keys to get 13 numbers, and I won that as well. We had a member who um, today actually won big too, so $900 and $1,800 he won, uh, and he's been choosing numbers as well. But I'm going to show you a more simplified way to do it. I want you to think about, when you think about these keys, okay? When you think about these keys, I want you to think about, at the same time, pair of sums, okay? I want you to go after these pair of sums and what may come out next. And your question is, oh, how do I know when a pair of sums is going to come out next? You really don't need to know that. You just need to play the pair of sums that you think may come out next. I mean... Look Look what comes out all the time. I mean, they just repeat. So the wonderful thing about what I'm going to show you is you're going to play such few numbers that they're going to come out, repeat multiple times, okay? And because you're playing few numbers, you can wind up playing more than one pair of sum. You can play the green, the pink, the brown, the yellow at the same time with such few numbers and win, okay? So now let me show you how... Um, you're going to pick these um, keys, okay? Now, here you go. You see the hit win. This is, I put this, to, I put this uh, snapshot here together for you. This is L1 default on the left side page, and this is 912. I isolated 912 here, okay? 912, let me show you. 912, let's go to Texas. Okay, we ended up winning. The winner was 157. 157. But here's the important part. 912, actually 921. 921. One with hit hit. You see that? And you know, let's let me isolate that like that so you could see it even more clearer. There. How easy is that? How easy is that? And look at this. Look at these hits. Look at these hits that are coming out. This is vital to what I'm about to show you. I mean, you can get these keys so easy. So this is how it works, okay? So when you have a hit on both sides, when you have a hit on L1 default and 912, the, if it's a low digit, if it comes out a low digit, okay, they must match, that low digit must match on L1 default, must match on the isolated pair sum, like 912. They must match because if the winner is 157, it's going to be the same on this side as it is on this side. So they're both going to have the same digit in the first position. And that's what hit means. Hit means that one of the past three digits, right, from the past three winners, okay, one of the digits from the past three winners showed up in the first position of the next winner. That's what these hits mean when you see a hit like that. So if you have two hits, it's saying here on 912, it's saying one of the digits in the past showed up in the first position of the next winner. And also here on L1 default, it's saying the same thing. One of the digits from the past three winners showed up in the first position of the next winner. In this case, it's a one. So one must be on this side and one must be on this side. They must match. So look at this. So now if you look at L912, uh, your lowest winning digit, right? The majority of the time they win with the lowest winning digit up front is a 0, a 1, and a 2. And go on this side, L1 default. What is matching? Look, 
you have a one and a two and a three. A one, a two, and a three. A one, a two, and a three. Hold on. So what's matching here is going to be the one. So, excuse me, there's a four there. So you have a one matching. You have a two matching. And you have a four matching. One, two, four. They're matching. That's it. That's it. You just found your keys. That's how simple it is. It's not difficult at all. A lot of a lot of members are confused and don't understand how to find keys. Your keys, that's how you find it. That's simple. Look at this hit and win. Uh, excuse me, this hits, these hits in the front. If there's a hit here, if there's a hit there, all you gotta do is look at the matching, the matching digits, right? And majority of the time it comes out low in the front. So look at the lows, and I'm going to show you how to pick the numbers. Now, we're looking at 912, and we're going to see how many numbers we can pull up from nine, with 912, right? But you can do this. If you're pulling up a, a, a small amount of numbers, you could do this with the 10s, 1011, 822. Like in Texas, look at this, look at this. In Texas, look, 9, 912, 822 constantly hits. Look at that, 822, 822. 822, 912, 912. So if you're playing with small numbers, you could just sit on a couple of these and just play them along. And look at this. Hit, 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 hit. You know exactly how to pick pick the, the, uh, the key now. Okay? Now let's look at what numbers come up with this. Okay? So we're looking at 921, right? 921. And the matching digits was a 1, a 1, a 2, and a 4. One, two, four. So those are the keys. One, two, four. So we're going to isolate, isolate here, nine and two, one, right? Because it's a nine, two, one. Nine, two, one we're looking at. Okay. And then we're looking at keys. And look, nine, two, one came up with only uh, 23 numbers. Now, well, we're going to get lower than that, my friends. Now we're doing one, two, and four, right? So you do one, key one. Seven numbers. We're down to seven numbers. Key two. Five numbers. Key four. Three numbers. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. And when this comes up, when 921 comes up with a hit, with, hit, hit, it's guaranteed that one of those numbers will be the winner. They will be the winner. Okay? That's how I won with one number. Okay? And let me show you this. Hold on. We did one. So this is the one that matched, that came out, right? One, five. Look at the winner. It's right there in the seven numbers. One, five, one, five, seven. One, five, seven. And look, it, it, look, look at how the uh, single numbers dominate. So if you don't think it's double, you just go single number right there. Now you got five numbers with the one. You've got four numbers with, with the two. Okay? And you've got... Here, what's the four? And the four, three numbers, okay? Now, if you do it like this, this way, if you, you want to do it one by one now, you want to do it one by one, especially if you have a few numbers. If you combine them, one, two, three, if you combine them like that, what this means is now you've converted the keys into pairs. You've converted the keys into pairs. And if the pairs don't come out, meaning if the two doesn't come, to, if they don't match, it doesn't come out there, then you're not going to have it. You're not going to have the winner here. For example, if if one, two doesn't come out in the winner, like it didn't come out, see, one, five, seven, one, five, seven, you're not going to have the winner there. Okay? And it's these are only three numbers also. See, you don't have the winner there. If it's if it, the pair is one, 14, see, you'll have one, two, one, four. And then you have two, four pairs, three pairs like that. Okay? So you want to do it so you don't have to mess around with pairs. You want to just keep it with keys. You want to work with the keys. So it's one, five numbers, two, four numbers, and there you go, three numbers. And here's a wonderful thing about this. You don't have to change the numbers, okay? So when you're playing this, you see here, because you're playing with this, you see? These don't change. They, 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 they consist constant, right? Static. Okay, until the next one hits, and then you move up. You look at the next three right here.
for the digits. So these always stay the same until the next one hits. And on L1 default, these always stay the same until the next one hits. So you could come here and you could establish your numbers, right? Establish what will hit first, what the keys are, which was so simple, I just showed you. So one, two, and four were the keys. You grab them because you said hit and hit was gonna come out. So simple. So these are the numbers you're gonna grab. So you're gonna constantly play with five for the one, with four for the two, with three for the, uh, excuse me, three numbers for the four. So when nine to one, when nine to one hits, and if it comes out with a hit, hit, one of those will guarantee to be w the winner. Okay? And you don't have to do it with just nine to one. Uh, again, you can play with multiple other pair sums because you're playing with such few numbers. Okay? Uh, I don't want to make this too long, so I wish you the best.